Tua Tagovailoa came out of the womb tossing a football, and instead of a teddy bear, he would cuddle a ball to sleep. When Tua was younger, he was a great outside linebacker and didn't play quarterback until the actual QB got injured. While playing college football at Alabama, Tua was recognized for his strengths as a prolific quarterback and was ultimately named the offensive MVP of the college football playoff national championship in 2018. As a sophomore, he received the Maxwell and Walter Camp Awards. In 2020, Tua signed a four-year contract with the Miami Dolphins worth $30 million, including a signing bonus of $19.5 million and an average salary of $7.5 million. Things began to take shape until something happened that would later threaten his career. March 2, 1998 saw the birth of Tua Tagovailoa in Iwa Beach, Hawaii. Tua's real name is actually a mouthful, but because people often mispronounced it while growing up, he had to shorten it primarily for them. The Dolphins quarterback always said he sees his grandpa Sue Tagovailoa as his main inspiration. Often called Chief Tagovailoa, Sue was highly respected in the Samoan community and always believed that Tua would become a football star. So to help him fulfill that dream, Sue would ask little Tua to visit him after every game to discuss his progress and challenges. Christianity is very common in the Samoan tradition, and Tua and his siblings are devoted Christians that live by the values of respecting their parents, spiritual mentors, and elders. Tua developed his skill through tough discipline. Growing up, there were two rules, the belt and the Bible. If he didn't perform to expectation on the football field and even at school, he'd suffer the consequences from his dad. As expected, this revelation shocked a lot of fans. One of them tweeted, Tua is a fantastic talent and he seems to have a good head on his shoulders, but unfortunately, he has the worst type of youth sports parent. Another fan commented, Did I hear Tua's dad say he beat his son for throwing interceptions? I really don't care if that upbringing brings my son millions in the league. It's totally not worth it. Galu was a lefty, so when he had Tua, he kept placing the ball in his left hand. I never thought I could make him get used to using his left hand. But soon, he adapted and started throwing the ball with his left, said Galu. Tua is the only left-handed quarterback in the NFL. With Tua's success so far, the lefty thing is definitely a weird phenomenon, but according to his receivers, it doesn't take long to adjust. Tagovailoa earns most of his money from his contract, bonuses, and other endorsement deals playing as a QB for the Dolphins. The Dolphins quarterback signed a four-year, $30.3 million deal, which includes a $19.6 million signing bonus. This contract ensures he'll earn a minimum of $7.5 million annually until his contract expires in 2025. But football contracts aren't the only thing pumping the quarterback's net worth. Tagovailoa was also smart enough to land a couple of brand endorsements early on to create multiple income streams for himself. A few weeks after signing his NFL deal, Tua became the newest NFL athlete to partner with Adidas. And as if that wasn't enough, he closed another deal with Muscle Milk, Wingstop, and Bose. Talk about ambition to grow your wealth. The Dolphins QB closed the deal with these brands early enough and it's certain that if he continues to rise in the sport, he'll definitely partner with more brands, boosting his net worth and earnings. Combining his endorsements and contract earnings, Tua has a net worth of $1 million. And it probably sounds crazy or something, considering how much he earns from his contract alone. But the thing is, these numbers don't go to the player's pocket, as there are also taxes and other things to take into account. Also, Tua is young and still has a whole career in front of him. What that means is he's still got a couple years ahead of him to add some millions to his net worth. After signing his first contract, Tua just couldn't wait to get himself a place to call home. Not just any place, a mansion kind of place. Tua found himself a home in a gated community in Davie, Florida, which has plenty of room to host his family members when they come to visit. The quarterback purchased this incredible 5,200 square foot property for a whopping $1.65 million right after the Miami Dolphins drafted him. Talk about investing your contract money. He chose this location mainly because the home is just 10 minutes away from the Dolphins training facility. The 24-year-old QB seems to have no fear of luxurious life. The home, which sits on 8 tenths of an acre, 
has six bedrooms, five bathrooms, a huge amount of living space, a big fancy kitchen, a three-vehicle garage, and structured high beams that provide a palace-like sensation. The home also has a custom-styled roof, mature palm trees near the walkway, and a partial view of the lakefront backyard viewing area. With such a palatial mansion, you wouldn't expect less when it comes to what he drives, and apparently, Tua doesn't hold back with his ride. Tua has spent over $250,000 on cars. In 2020, he bought a brand new 2020 Cadillac Escalade worth $80,000 for his mom on Mother's Day, while he got himself a Ford Flex as well as a BMW to arrive in style to every game. He also got his dad a $10,000 Rolex watch. But with the fame and money, how does Tua manage to stay focused and wait off distraction from girls? Since the beginning of his career, it was known that Tua wasn't dating anybody. Even if he was, he lived a private life so no one could tell. But after a couple of years of being a hero of Miami, fans begin to address a long-awaited topic. The fact that the QB has a secret wife, 23-year-old Anna Gore. Until now, Anna has successfully stayed out of the spotlight. However, as her husband's fame grew, her existence became hard to keep in the dark. The couple tied the knot in a secret wedding on July 18, 2022, because they both wanted to keep things low-key. So it was only expected that Tua would get mad when news of their private marriage leaked. I love to keep my life very private, and that's what my wife and I tried to do. But obviously, in this world, that's definitely not how it is. It's kind of disrespectful, but it is what it is. I can't do anything about it, Tagovailoa said. When asked how he's handling the other girls in his life, he laughed and said, No girls for me. I've got a wife. That's the perspective. Same focus this season as always. Nice one, Tua. Good to know he sticks to one woman and doesn't get into scandals like some of his colleagues. Mm. Before Tua was selected by the Dolphins in the 2020 NFL Draft as fifth overall, he received the Maxwell and Walter Camp Awards as a sophomore and was the offensive MVP of the 2018 College Football Playoff National Championship. In September 2018, Tua made his first career start against Louisville in Orlando, Florida at the season's opening game. He finished with 227 passing yards and two touchdowns in the 51-14 victory. At the end of the season, he surpassed Baker Mayfield's 2017 record with a new NCAA FBS passer rating record of 199.4. Tua's junior season was cut short after dislocating his lip, fracturing the posterior wall, and suffering a concussion and a broken nose. Wow. He had to undergo surgery in Houston a couple of days later. Tua finished his collegiate career as a holder of notable NCAA career records, including a 10.9 passing yards per attempt, 12.7 adjusted passing yards per attempt, 199.4 passing efficiency rating, and 9.8 total yards per game. And in August of the same year, Tua graduated with a bachelor's degree in communication studies. Tua remained consistent with the numbers as he often brought his A-game to every match with the Miami Dolphins, especially when he led the team to a comeback win over the Baltimore Ravens in September. The Hawaiian natives set career highs with 469 passing yards and six touchdowns, becoming the second QB in franchise history to record at least five touchdowns and 400 passing yards in a single game after Dan Marino. Even if no one expected that, wide receiver Jalen Waddle did. He's confident in himself, we're confident in him. I mean, it's good for everyone to see, but we kind of expected that, Jalen said. But while Tua stole the headlines for his electric performance, little did we know that what would happen next would be a defining moment in his career. On September 25th, Tagovailoa experienced a concussion after he was slammed into the ground by a player while playing against the Buffalo Bills. Four days later, in a game against the Cincinnati Bengals, he was once again slammed into the ground by an opposing player. Tua remained motionless for almost 10 minutes before being carried out in the stretcher leading to calls for him to quit the scene. One of the leaders of the pack is Dr. Bennett Amalu, a neuropathologist portrayed by Will Smith in the 2015 movie Concussion. Bennett was the first person to publish findings on chronic traumatic encephalopathy in American football players. Your life is worth more than any amount. You've suffered long-term, severe, permanent brain damage, Amalu said. 
If you love your life, your lovely wife and kids, it's time to gallantly walk away and find something else to do, Amalu said. Amalu wasn't the only prominent person to say as much to the quarterback. The Concussion Legacy Foundation chief executive, Chris Nowinski, tweeted, Pray for Tua. This is a disaster. Fire the coaches and the medical staff. I predicted this, and right now, I hate that I am right. But despite the advice given by the experts in the medical field, Tagovailoa remains keen on returning to the game. He wrote, I want to appreciate everyone for their support and prayers. I'm grateful for the care I've received from my friends and family, the Dolphins, and everyone else that reached out, Tua continued. I'm feeling a lot better and remain focused on joining my teammates on the field. Could it be the love of the game that has made him insistent on returning to the field? Well, the pendulum will undoubtedly swing back and Tagovailoa will return to the game to do what he knows best, leading his team to more victories, improving his numbers, and closing more deals. Click here for the most recent video, or click here if you want to see why Deshaun Watson is an absolute genius.